everybody. This is the Math 10C uh, trigonometry review, and this is question, multiple choice 10. Um, solve this triangle, give the measures to the nearest tenth. Okay, let's take a quick look at the triangle. Okay, so notice we're given, this is sorry, triangle FGH, and we're given angle F, we're given the hypotenuse here. Now, right away, the first thing I, I'm going to go for here is I'm going to find angle G, because I know that the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. I know that this angle is 90, so that leaves me an extra 90 degrees here. So 90 degrees minus 50 degrees is going to equal angle G, and that's going to give me 40 degrees. Now I'm hoping that that helps me reduce of my options here. So angle G is 40, angle G, no, that didn't work. Angle G, ah, well, can't be D. Can't be D. That, that wasn't a huge step forward like I wanted it to be, but that's okay. So now let's take a quick look at this. Here's the angle that's given. I don't want to use G just in case I made a mistake there. So this helps me define the sides here. This is the hypotenuse, okay, and I have no idea why there's an additional little bit there. I'll fix that in a bit. Uh, but what we've got here is this side right here, the HG here, which would be little f, this is going to be the side opposite because it's not being used to make that angle. And FH here, which would be the side little g, this is going to be the adjacent because it is being used, okay, to build that angle here. Now, let's just find one of those. It doesn't matter. Let's find, let's say, the adjacent side here. Now, <coughs> sorry, I got to think what trig ratio relates the pieces that I've got, the hypotenuse to the adjacent, the side that I'm looking for when I have that angle there. And the answer is cosine. So we'll come over here a little bit. The cosine of 50 degrees is going to equal the adjacent side, that little g, over the 28.5, the hypotenuse. So this is a little easier than one of the previous questions we've done because in this case the unknown is up in the numerator. Now remember, this cosine of 50 is the ratio that spits out the, the relationship between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. That is just a number here. And if I multiply this by, by high, the hypotenuse, remember the, the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. That's, that's what that is. If I multiply it by the hypotenuse, I will be left with the adjacent. So when you multiply this, this both sides by 28.5, it cancels on the right, and you're left with 28.5 times the cosine of 50 on the left is equal to g. Now we'll just do that, okay? 28.5 times the cosine of 50, and we get 18.3 as our hypotenuse. So FH is going to be 18.3. Sorry, yeah, FH. So now look at your options here. FH is 18.3. Well, okay, well FH can't be 44, so it can't be this one. That's a good sign. Oh, and it can't be this one either. So that was a good choice for us to find that one. So we know that the answer here has to be A. Now, we might run through really quickly and just verify that by using the sine ratio to get the opposite side. Maybe I'll do that over here. If we set up the sine ratio, and I'll do this a little bit quicker here, sine ratio, a sine of 50 degrees is going to equal F over 28.5. And now for us to get F, I'd multiply both sides by 28.5. So 28.5 times the sine of 50 is equal to F. And then I'll just do this really quickly on my calculator, times the sine of 50. And I'm getting 21.8. Uh, which is perfect. That's exactly what we were looking for right there. So the answer was, in fact, A.